Monday morning. Um, yeah, last week I started the um, Monday Mumbles and we're back at it two in a row. What a concept. Anyway, got my Star Trek cup today. Um, yeah, just gonna ramble here for a few minutes. So, you know, once again, what's happening in the store. Um, some of the discussions and interesting things that came up. Uh, one thing is how to grow. We're discussing how to grow uh, the community looking at Marvel Crisis Protocol. Great game. Been around a while. Coming out with a new starter set that looks um, very good. And about three or four of us, I was actually listening on how to grow the community. Looking to get other stores involved. Doing, uh, we definitely discussed having a a set schedule for when people can come and play, learn to play. Uh, you know, how to get new people in, but keep the people have been playing interested and motivated to play. And this kind of looking at discussing organized play has some good thoughts. Uh, once again you know, maybe rotating around the different stores. And really, the main thing is trying to grow the community. And that, that goes for just about any, any well, any game. Um, you have your four to eight hardcore guys, and, you know, they want to play all the time. You got other people that want to learn how to play, can be intimidated because, oh, they've been playing forever. They have everything. Um, so... Yeah, it's that's uh, kind of a hard nut to crack, and uh, I think that's for any store. It does start with with having that core group of guys, alpha gamers, and they getting them to bring in new new folks. Uh, one of the biggest thing is is seeing the game played on the table constantly. Um, you know, person walks to the store, sees a, a game, and they come back. Week two weeks later, I see see it being played again. Yeah, they're a lot. I think a lot more likely to invest in it. But like I said that that goes for any game, not this Marvel Crisis Protocol. Yeah, uh, looking at getting that new starter set. I think that it is is time for update refresh of that game. Uh, well, one of the best probably starter sets out there, in my opinion. Um, Blood and Plunder has a great, great one, great value. Um, you're looking more historical. But yeah, uh, if you haven't looked at the Marvel Crisis Protocol, I think a great time to get into it. I, I think uh, communities around will be having the same discussion we have with the new stuff. You know, how, how do we reset, grow the community? Um, discuss Blood Bowl a little bit. Um, we're definitely going to go hardcore starting in October. Next couple of weeks, just get some games in, refresh on how to play, look at the the sevens rules, how we're going to run that that league. Um, hopefully, next couple of weeks, I can get a couple of games in myself. Looking forward to playing my halflings and maybe even scoring a touchdown. Um, Dystopian Wars, that's going hard and heavy. Um, I think Zeph's looking at starting league once again next month. Should have a large order coming in, actually, I hope tomorrow, with some more stuff coming in the end of the month. Um, shout out to Gadzooks and, and War Cradle. But uh, Gadzooks is now the going to be my distributor for War Cradle in the U.S. So far, it's been uh, good working with him, good communication and that's the main thing, uh, myself as a retailer, all I ask from my distributors is just communicate. I know shipping's still crazy, um, getting, keeping stock. It's always a challenge. Uh, let's see what else do we got going. Oh, yeah, going down to Hercon, me, Curtis, and Mike. Going to be running some uh, galleys, guns, and glory. Um, Mike will be running that. Um, got a 
group down there that's very excited about playing. And uh, we'll come back. We'll be running some games of that in the store. Seems we're kind of on the ship theme right now. Also, Curtis will be doing some Mythic Earth. Uh, should be getting the new starters in tomorrow. Also excited about that. Uh, they repackaging some new new sculpts. Um, hopefully, once again, Mythos, Mythicos. Um, you know they they've done well, um, but they continue to look to ways to improve their product, and uh, should be a good thing. Uh, working with them moving forward. Uh, see, magic seems to be continue to, to grow. Um, not just uh, sales, but um, getting some more players and seeing people playing other nights than this Thursday, which is that's good to see. So, looking forward to continue that to grow. Um, Flesh and Blood, another card game. Uh, got a couple of guys once again leading the charge on that. Um, and yeah, the sales with that picked up once again, got some blitz de- decks in and people have picked those up, learning to play flesh and blood. Uh, back when it first came out, I played several games. I really liked the concept is that you're actually dueling another player that's not playing to play. You know, sometimes I uh, haven't played magic forever, but, uh, with flesh and blood you're playing more with a purpose you're actually doing your opponent as a character uh let's see georgia warband has their big age of sigmar tournament coming up looks like they're having about 40 players will be providing uh, most of the train for that so yeah i guess i need to get um some more prints going up yeah 3d printers yeah <laughs> that's a hobby into itself I've got uh, one working right now. One, the actual build plate is off. Uh, It's loose. I can't figure out how to tighten it. More YouTube videos, I guess, for that. But uh, always something with 3D printers. Um, What else? Um, I do have a couple notes down here. Make sure I want to mention all the games. Um, Oh, Atlanta United. Yay. Didn't get to see Messi play. But Atlanta United came out and dominated Miami five to two. Woo-hoo. Actually, one of the funnest games I've been to in a long time. Great a- atmosphere, seventy two thousand people. Uh, both teams were playing soccer, going at it, going at each other. It, it was a good. Looking forward to seeing it finish out the season. Um. Oh. Say. So, oh. One thing, I guess, the uh, public service announcement or whatever, uh, uh, right before I got here, listening to the radio, they said there's over a 1,000 dogs in shelters in, I think that's Fulton and DeKalb County. It's kind of blew my mind that there's a, that means there's more dogs out there than that. Um, just, you know, if you're thinking about getting dogs, look at adopting Um and if you were to spend the big bucks, I mean, I, I know people spend two, three, four, five thousand dollars, but look at adopting first and then maybe donating that that money to a shelter or uh, once again, I work with Coco's Cupboards here in, in Fayetteville and Tales of Hope. Um, great group, great, do great things for dogs and, and for people, um, pairing them up. So look to adopt. And, you know, think before you get a dog, they are uh, a time and commitment. Um, they are a challenge, like having another kid. So, you know, think before you get a dog. And then, like I said, look at adopting first. Um, good stuff. Anyway, uh, what else? Um, uh, me and Mike have started initial talks. Uh, yeah, we're looking at coming up for a store anniversary. Was it going to be eight years? Can't do math in public, but yeah. So we're looking at possibly the first week in November. Um, right after 
uh, Halloween, have a, a week weekend, have some sales, have Saturday, have some events going on. Um, got some thoughts on that. We'll let you guys know later as you go gets closer. Uh, hopefully, we can do some fun and exciting things. Um, what else? Um, so mainly this week, get, getting packed and geared up for going down the hurricane. Looking forward to going with Mike and Curtis. Um, last few conventions I've done, I've done by myself. I enjoy it, but you know it, it's tiresome. You don't get to do much when I'm when you're by yourself. So maybe I can game in. Looking looking forward to um. Bad Golem games. Uh, really, really want to get a game in of uh, Trail Park Apocalypse. Um, definitely, definitely going to have to get one of those games in. And there's always other great um, looking and playing games and seeing some of the people um, again that do, that do the con circuit. Good group of guys. Uh, well, that's about it. Um, if you have any inputs, any things, games you'd like to see uh, played, um, and back to the opening kind of topic, you know, suggestions on how, how do you build a community? How do you get a game going? Uh, you know, it's easier for me or Mike to, to get something on the table and, and play but you know uh there's more games than us there's more of you guys than us so i think that's always the the million dollar question for game stores um is you know how do you get keep that get a game going keep the interest going in a game and you know get new people involved while yet keeping the the um the people, the invested people in the game, keeping it fresh and new for them. You know, the biggest, I think the best example we have here is it's probably Battletech. You know, you got the guys who've been playing for 150 years, but yet we still see new people playing. Um, kind of kudos to Catalyst for um, the la the recent surge last year, maybe two years. Uh, keeping the keeping stuff new going to the plastics keeping it keep it affordable uh Battletech's probably one of the most affordable games to get in you know um 25 50 bucks um get in easy to paint models I don't have to put anything together and i sit around here you know you can just ask and people will play Battletech with you so that's always uh, a good thing. So once again, you know, kind of thinking off the top of my head, maybe look at the, um, how that, how we're doing that, maybe for a model of, of how to move forward with other games. Anyway, I've rambled way too much already. So until next time, hopefully we have a good report about the con. Um, need to figure out how to embed pictures so we can show you some pictures from the con next monday and again until next time we'll see you later Oops, I guess I need to turn off the recording. I guess that's your, uh, what do you call it, uh, tidbit or after the video. Have a good week.